Um, I'm going to do Martin first, and uh, just the first thing, there's additional posts here, uh, the three different posts, and uh, it's good to submit works in progress. I very much encourage that and ask questions along the way. However, it would help me keep things organized if you just keep all your, uh, keep everything in one post per discussion. So, you know, rather than adding, creating new posts, you would go into an existing one and just, you know, add a comment to the bottom. Also, check your file name. You, you did chair09, and uh, as you can see, we want to do the last name, first name, and assignment number. Because um, otherwise, I end up with a bunch of things, uh, with, with a bunch of things called chair or something, and it gets uh, kind of confusing for me. Uh, then this chair is looking mostly very good. Um, there were some issues with uh, this piece, and from kind of seeing these pairs of lines, it looks like at some point you beveled the whole object rather than um, just the kind of selected curves that you would have wanted to bevel, like the ones on the corners. And that gives it this sort of faceted look, but it also exacerbates some of your problems. So you had some issues here um, before, I think, you beveled that were kind of unresolved, of uneven, kind of not smooth edges around here. And then I think the bevel sort of redoubled those problems. Um, and uh, what else? Most of these other surfaces are looking good. I would probably not have so many divisions on this. It's uh, unnecessary. You don't need them um, for this object here. Is there even an object there in the design? I can't remember. Oh, I just deleted that. And there's another one. Oh my goodness. Okay, look, I'm just, whoops, not that one. Oh yeah, I just think that was sort of an extra cube there. I don't know what that was doing there. Okay. Um, yeah, so ignore that. Uh, yeah, this one, I think it would be better if this was one continuous shape rather than, uh, you know, these two. So what I would do is um, get rid of this bevel and just click on that bevel, select and delete, and get rid of these guys. Um, and then extrude that out from the, the bottom of these. So I'm going to do Control Shift X for Multi Cut Tool. Hold down the Control key, and something that might be too big. I don't know. Anyway, you get the idea. You can adjust the size, of course. I'm going to just for a moment select, um, use the um, the isolate select button and then select these faces. Shift right mouse click, extrude face. I might turn this back on now. And I'll click this little guy right there and then move those down. And then R for scale, flatten those out. And maybe move them down a touch more. Something like that. And then go back and bevel them again. Um, and you wouldn't bevel all of the edges. You'd bevel most of them. Like if I selected all of them, I could sort of deselect these and just control selecting those. And I don't think, I think you, maybe you could bevel those. Probably not this though. Just control double clicking those. Oh, and these. Yeah, you don't want those. Just control double clicking to deselect those. And yeah, these maybe, maybe not. Um, but. Probably not these. Mm, or those. Yeah, that's part of these. Well, let's see how it turns out if we do bevel those. Shift right mouse click bevel edge. 
Maybe add a segment or two. Actually, the size looks pretty good. Well, I'm not convinced that was a great idea. Um, but, uh, anyway. Oh, it's a little cleaner. Okay. And these are good. Um, yeah. So, uh, generally, good job. A couple little fixes. Okay, this is Christy. Um... Yeah, these surfaces are all looking really good. Uh, I'm just, I was just looking at this triangle thing here, and I'm wondering uh, what that's caused by. I'm not sure. Just by looking at it, it looks a little off, but not a, a big deal. Maybe a little bit more rounded edge there. nice maybe it could be a little rounder on the bottom here it's a nice shape there uh, yeah generally very good work um, oops, something's a little funny here I guess it's just that it was in smooth mode but I Kind of surprised at sort of stretching that out. See, yeah, there's something a little iffy about the way it's beveled that corner there, and it makes this. I don't know. I guess it's all right. I don't normally do smooth preview on that. I don't think so. Um, yeah, uh, this is looking really good. Cool. Um, nice work. Next up is Donald, and uh, yeah, this is looking good. Um, there's a bit of an issue with this. Um, it's not beveled down here, and also there's a few too many um, edge loops around this side, and that's going to interfere with the bevel as well. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you a method of terminating some edge loops. Um, so uh, for that I'm going to go into edge mode, right mouse click edge, mesh tools, target weld, and then uh, let me just zoom in a bit. So I'm going to take this and drag it to this one and see it welds those together. And then I'm going to take this and drag it to that one. And then I should do that going all the way around here to here, whoops, and here to here, and then on the back as well. All right. Then, um, see, I ended up with some triangles here, but if I get rid of just this one edge, I always use shift, right mouse click, delete edge. Um, this now, this is actually a four-sided face. One, two, three, four. So I've actually remained with quads. That's still a, a four-sided face. And then I can just sort of strategically repeat that um, throughout the surface. So um, we'll go back to the um, weld. And here to here. Um, it's a little bit hard to do it if you're not zoomed in a bit. Okay. And and actually, yeah. While I'm on this side, I'll take out this one and that one. Shift right mouse click to the edge. And I got one to take get rid of here. Okay. And then just continue. So maybe I'll try to do a few more at a time. Don't want to get confused though. 
Yeah, that kind of ships that back, so maybe I should ignore that one. Do that one, and then maybe this one. Okay, and then delete a few edges. That one, that one, this one, and this one. Shift right mouse click, delete edge. Okay, so here's where we've ended up. Uh, a much simpler surface. Um, as a result, um, I can take, probably not all the way there, but probably this, that, this and that and this and this and that and that now I'll bevel and I should be able to make that at least a little bigger yeah see I'm starting to crowd the edge next to this um, here which isn't so great uh, can I help that Maybe a little bit. Uh, so what I might do... Um, I just kind of adjust the position of some of these edges. So I'm a little crowded in the front here, so... Um, I might... Uh, I just double click that edge, shift right mouse click, slide edge tool, and just middle mouse drag that back a little bit and then double click on this one and yeah just giving myself some more space for the bevel if I can afford to you know do this one without screwing up the shape of this too much you know that could be good I give myself some room on this side too so now there's a bit more room and I mean yeah so if that's any better. A little bit. Yeah, that's looking all right. Um, and just sort of compare that to this one. I'm just kind of going back and forth. These are my bracket keys for those two camera positions. Um, so this has less edges and it's smoother, you know, around the corners. Um, what else did I see on this one? Oh, yeah, this one. Again, this is just pretty much a straight up bevel situation. I feel like maybe I split the tops on these. I can't remember, but uh, either way, um, yeah, I'll just select all the edges and then deselect these middle ones, and then uh oh, it's not working. Maybe that's why there's no bevel on there. All right, let's see if we can troubleshoot what's going on with this. Hmm, not sure. Oh, didn't I come up with um, a different approach for this one? Didn't I um, take these faces and like extrude them in um, as a way of doing this? And then, um, then slide edge to Shift right mouse click slide edge to kind of yeah to kind of round that out, um, and then I can add uh, just Control Shift X for multi cut and add another. Yeah, I don't. Something about this being a loop all the way around is what's making it not work. I don't know. And then um, just maybe move this one up a little bit. I'm sort of manually making this bevel.
Um, Actually, this is where I'll do control F9 converts to vertices. And if I do um, hold down W and left mouse click, I get this menu. And I'll do axis normal. And then I can kind of push these out in the normal direction. Um, that's the direction away from the surface. Maybe I'll do that a little bit on this row. Shift double click. repeat that on the other side not you know loving that I think if I grab this edge and do um, mesh display soften edge that'll look a little better yeah all right well not perfect but um, does that need to, need to be softened too is there something oh let's do um, put this back to um, Maybe just reset the tool, just to be sure. Okay. I just want to make sure there's... No ah! There is something wrong with this thing. Interesting. Alright. I'm going to try deleting this edge. Shift right mouse click, delete edge. Okay, I'm going to... That's normal. Okay. Anyway, so that's sort of a manual bound. And you can keep going, add a few more, and continue rounding it off. Um, mesh display, soften, okay. Kind of, kind of getting there. Is that how I did it in the video? I can't remember. Okay, anyway, so, um, yeah, a couple little things, but uh, mostly this is looking really good. Okay, this is Tegan, and uh, yeah, looking really good. Got this little extra detail in there. This is looking a little faceted, and I'm wondering if that's just the display, or if there's some, maybe that's just... Let's do mesh display, soften edge, and see if that... That's all, yeah, that's all that was. Okay, it was just hard edges. Um, yeah, I like this added detail, that's cool. Um, that's looking good. Yep, that looks nice. Oh, this is bad one. That's good. Yeah, really nice. Um, looking pretty good all around. little bevels on these guys. You could throw some little tiny bevels on that too if you wanted. Um, yeah, maybe a little thinner on this piece. And maybe it's a bit too pinched in the back there. Um, But it kind of gets wider towards the end. Maybe I can just pull this up some. And maybe take like from here to here and slide that edge. Shift right mouse click, slide edge. Just to even that out some. So it's got a little better shape. And maybe, maybe just move it back a touch to round that out so it's still looking a little kind of sharp on the bottom here part of it I think is how close those edges are to each other if we could spread these out a little bit um, shift double click shift right mouse click slide edge maybe that one could go down and this one could go up some that might help a bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
getting better. I still think it's a little sharp on that side. Maybe it just needs to be a bit thicker. And this could maybe be a little thinner. Um, but uh, these are pretty small details. Overall, this is uh, very nicely put together. Good job. This is Melissa, and uh, yeah, looking good. I like that you got this um, little paddle thing here. That's a nice work on that. Yeah, these pieces are all looking really good. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good all around. Um, maybe it gets a little pinched along the back there. Um, but uh, really, it's uh, yeah hard to find many flaws with this one. Huh. All right, yeah, good work on this. Yeah, I think maybe just a little bit of a thicker seat cushion, a little less pinched in the back, but other than that. I'm having trouble finding any flaws. Okay, this is Kobe, and uh, yeah, this is looking really good. Um, good bevels on these. Um, you could probably bevel, could have beveled these edges as well, like this one. That yellow color, by the way, is soft select. Sometimes that messes people up when it's on. You just hit B to turn it on and off. B as in boy. That's on, that's off. Anyway, you could have beveled those. I think I would have chosen those as well when you did some of the others. Um, something went funny here. Um, I think that was probably just accidentally selected when you did one of the other bevels. Um, and, uh, yeah, I might, might not have chosen this edge to bevel. Um, I think if I wanted to round that out, I might have just added a couple more edges and, you know, adjusted them rather than, because that did some funny stuff to the surface here. Um, yeah, but overall this is looking really good. Maybe could have included this edge in your bevel as well. Um, stuff in the bottom looks good. Yeah, you could have um, done a little bit more kind of naming and organizing. Um, but overall, uh, yeah, maybe a little, a little bit pinched in the back there. Maybe could kind of fatten that up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Yes, but but it's a little thicker there. But uh, yeah, um, overall looks really good. Okay, this is Ching, and um, yeah, you got the overall basic shapes, but it doesn't look like you've really followed the lessons in the module, and as a result, there's a lot of issues with the surfaces. Um, for example, this gets very thin down here and doesn't transition nicely at the bottom. There's not the sort of uh, little seam that shows that this can extend in and out. Um, I can see clearly that you've done this in a very different way that doesn't really get the shapes we were going for um, to match the reference. Um, there's not really enough detail on this to get the, the shape we were going for. Um, uh, this has uh, got the basic you know, structure right, but it's not beveled. These aren't beveled. You're missing the middle piece. You don't have the round cylinder that comes down here. Um, this piece is a very, very simplified version of um, the other piece. And part of the point of doing the way the lesson shows you is that you'll learn new techniques um, 
you know, a lot of the different parts of this chair show you a different technique uh, that you might apply in many different ways. Uh, so they're not just relying on stuff that you already know how to do. Uh, and you have other issues like this interpenetrating here. Um, you know, and these a lot of these shapes are just a lot less, you know, accurate or interesting as the reference. This is too thin. You're missing all of the detail on the bottom as well as the kind of the support piece here. So, um, yeah, I would call this, you know, kind of miss the mark on this one. And I think you should try to do it more like um, the, uh, the lesson. Okay, this is Alina. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, most of the surfaces in here are looking pretty good. Um, you're going to want to get a bevel on the bottom and sides of this one. And you might need to lose some edges to do that because because of this narrow distance here. It's not going to be able to give you um, a very big bevel there. So um, looks like you've combined some edges here, but I'd probably go further with that. Um, one way to do that is uh, with the target weld tool. If I go to edges, I can... Looks like you've already got a triangle here, so I can pull these two together. Um, and do, oh, that's not good. Something's gone a little funny inside here. Hmm. Let's take these bottom ones off. Take a look inside here. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just this thing. Yeah, there's some extra surfaces in here that's messing things up. That usually happens when you extrude without... Um, ooh, that's weird. Something funny is going on with this guy. Are there more things that are... Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. So yeah, there's some issues with this. So first thing I'm going to do... Let me undo the deleting that bottom thing. I'm going to try to run mesh cleanup on this. Mesh cleanup and lamina faces, non-manifold geometry, edges with zero length, faces with zero geometry. Clean up. See if that's helped with anything. Okay, that seems to have solved at least some of the problems here. Um, okay. And then I can go back to what I was doing before with the target weld tool and put these two together and kind of do that the rest of the way around. Okay. And then what you can do is delete this edge, shift, right, mouse click, delete edge, and then that becomes a quad right here. And I know it looks sort of like a triangle, but it is four size. You know, one, two, three, four. And then what I might do is take this edge and slide it back, shift, whoops, why did it not pick all the Oh, it's not picking all the way around. That's not a good sign. Hmm. Just wanna... It makes it me think that there's... Oh yeah, look, there's all these inside surfaces. That's what I was worried about before. Sometimes mesh cleanup will fix that, but um, looks like not in this case. Oops. Hmm. So this happens because you've, you know, extruded something and, I don't know, made these inside services. Um, yeah, it looks like maybe there's some other... Those... Oh, okay, no, those look okay. So I can... Uh, is this... No, it's still... Oh, geez, is that... Oh, those are all separated out. Look at that. 
Now, sometimes stuff gets broken by mesh cleanup, but I'm going to isolate this object um, and uh, let's select all the vertices of it and do a um, merge um, components options. You know, it's a nice small number, 0 0.001 should be fine. So, really, everything right on top of each other should merge. And then let's see if that's still happening here. Okay, no, that seems to have solved that issue. And now when I double click, aha, so that's good. Now it's picking that edge around. That's a good sign. Shift right mouse click, fill hole. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I should probably. Well, we could go ahead and merge some more of these things first. So. Um, and then I'll, you know, complete the loops around the bottom. So let's go back to that weld tool and maybe this to here and that to there. Um, and maybe, and you've already got one triangle here, so I might take that to there. Now we've got a lot less. And then I can turn these into quads by getting rid of this and this and that and that. Shift right mouse click to the edge. Um, and then I can fix the bottom stuff here. Control Shift X here and there. Enter. Here and here. Enter. Here and here. Enter. Here and here. Okay, so I can see that. Go. Oh. I messed up that last one. There and there. Okay, and now I can take this edge loop and shift right mouse click, slide edge, slide it away from that side, maybe even this out a little bit. All right, now let's see if we can get decent bevel going on. Whoops. Oops. Going on this. Guy. Shift right mouse click bevel. Okay, yeah, not too bad. Not loving how those look, but it could, that could just be a question of, um, you know, grabbing these edges and making sure that we have a nice display, soften edge. Yeah, that's all that was. Okay. Um, yeah, same on that side. So that's that. Um, the bigger issue on this one is this guy right here is gone really berserk and again it's that similar thing with all these kind of inside surfaces you had I think you and then all these little edges here I think you had the wrong stuff selected when you did some of your extrudes uh, because there's no history there's no kind of way of backing out of this and this one would be quite a lot of uh, surgery to kind of nitpick and clean all of that up so I would be more inclined to rebuild the whole thing um, I just think it's going to take less time than trying to solve all the little problems in here in a similar way that I did for uh, this other one. Um, uh, also, you're going to want to make sure that this extrudes, this extends into the, the cushion back here. Um, another little thing on this guy, I'm just going to hit isolate here, is uh, you can see those kind of sharp edges here. That's easy to fix. Double click on this one, shift double click on that one. Mesh display, uh, soften edge, and that'll look a little nicer there. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, some fixes, redoing this one. Um, but, uh, yeah, most of the stuff is looking pretty good. Um, reasonably organized into groups. Uh, maybe you could have, you know, named more of these or grouped them uh, more. Uh, but, um, yeah, looking pretty good. 
Okay, this is Elias, and uh, yeah, looking good. Um, maybe a little pinched in the back. Um, the situation with this is pretty big um, mess here. Um, there's kind of multiple services on top of each other, and the ones that are here have got you know a lot of kind of jagged and bumpy things. When I see these kind of edges showing up in pairs. It makes me think you had kind of the wrong edges selected and you did a bevel. Um, but it's, I can't really tell for sure. I can't really step back without seeing the history. But this is all broken up in all these different pieces. And I think it would be pretty tricky to try to clean this up. Because um, uh, this piece doesn't have that whole ridge, but that piece does, and this, I don't think that one's really doing much of anything, but you'd have to cut off some of one piece and add another, and I don't know, it's just, I would tend to just want to make it again, personally, um, just, you know, do it from scratch so correctly, because there's, and then even if you did get it pieced together, you have all this kind of jaggedy mess to deal with. Um, when you see this kind of black, almost staticky look, uh, call that artifacts, um, tells you that there are surfaces right on top of each other, which means there's a problem. These seem extraneous, so we'll just kind of lose those. Um, this is looking pretty good. Um, somehow you're missing some faces there. Just not sure what happened there. Is that only on those? No, it's not all of them. Um, yeah, the stuff in the bottom looks okay. Um, this piece is looking all right. So, yeah, most of it looks good. Um, I think you want to get this beveled. Um, looks like you've got some pretty crunchy stuff going on here. Wow, something went pretty awry on this one. Um, it just maybe I think you just had a bunch of weird edges selected when you did a bevel and then that went kind of berserk but why this is all kind of crushed in here again I could only guess uh, how that occurred whereas you know sort of this front area looks fine but this all gets kind of messed up and I know at least part of it's got to be some wrong edges selected when a bevel was run but uh, I don't know what else happened so again easier to Rebuild and clean up in a case like that, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so overall, pretty good. Uh, some glitchy things to fix. This is Dewey, and uh, yeah, generally looking pretty good. Some good shapes going on here. Um, you'll want to um, kind of do that same sort of beveling process for the bottom of this shape as you have to. And it almost looks like you've you know, have the edges to do it with. It's just more a question of maybe um, sliding those edges and oh, it doesn't, there we go. You know, I'm halfway there now. Something like that. Um, might want to just uh, because right now it looks a little faceted in a lot of areas. Um, you know, you see all that, those faceted edges. So if we just do mesh display, soften edge, that should clean that up. Um, that looks all right. That's looking okay. Um, this, uh, you'd want to get that to extend into the bottom of the chair. And here you've got, I think you've just got many too many edges here I think you oh yeah you got a lot of some issues here um, but so you might want to go through and start eliminating some edge loops shift right mouse click delete edge and uh, and then I just can hit G and that does the previous function that can sort of speed this up so I'm just clearing out edges, and then once once it feels a little more, you know, manageable, 
you could try um, you know rounding out the shape a little bit better um, by adjusting the position of a lot of these but it you know there's a lot of little cleanup to work to do on this to get it to um, to be nice and round and also these I mean I would kind of want these to be more uh, perpendicular to this shape here um, so like take this edge and then shift double click that one so what I mean is like this would be more like that and let's go to the right view I'll just uh, let's choose vertices and select right through and this. So I think that you know you kind of want them all angled more like that. Where see how this line is kind of perpendicular to the overall shape that it's running through. Um, a little more like these are you know those are perpendicular to that shape. So you'd want to go in and fix that. So it's it's a lot of uh, getting your hands dirty, if you will, you know, um, so that would take some time to clean up, but not impossible. Um, and then you'd want this top, you know, to go through, and uh, I might just grab maybe these, and just make sure I control shift, grab those, B for soft select, and hold down B and click and drag, and I can grow or, sh grow or shrink that and then just sort of stretch that in so it intersects that surface. Um, B also toggles off soft select. Soft select often messes up beginners, um, so if you see stuff turn sort of yellow and red and you don't know what's happening, try hitting the B key. Um, yeah, I think you're missing the kind of uh, the middle. Well, we've got it there, but it's quite small. I think most. I think it's supposed to be more kind of uh, the same kind of flush with the wheel in size, so that one's a bit small. Um, yeah, other than that, kind of good. I think um, these could be a little less arch-shaped arc shaped on the bottom, a little flatter on the bottom. Um, yeah, so overall pretty good, some stuff to clean. This is Angela, and um, yeah, looking really good. Um, it's pretty well organized in the outliner. Um, a little thin there, uh, but that's okay. Um, this is looking really good, which is nice to see after seeing a couple that were not working as well. Um, this looks good. That's yeah, that's what I was talking about in the last one without being flush with the wheels. Um, the bottom is looking good. This piece worked out. Clean work there. Um, yeah, really good clean work all around. It's just one little thing. This. Uh, you've got these edges that are um, hard if we just do mesh display, soften edge, and then that looks a little nicer. Um, this is great. Yeah, I think uh, really I'm hard pressed to find anything wrong with it, so nice job. This is Megan, and uh, yeah, looking really good. Um, uh, was this one that there was some issue with the uh, this thing here? No, that's all right. I'm thinking of a different one. Um, yeah, that's just another example of where we can do uh, mesh display, soften edge to make that a little smoother looking. Um, I've just been using this guy right here that's called isolate it's selected in it just hides everything else so you can focus on one object um, yeah the under carriage stuff looks pretty good um, something went a little funny here with your bevel and I'm just guessing there's something that should have been selected but wasn't Uh, and maybe it was like these, like this, like this sort of 
sides of those. I think maybe if those were, it would have kind of done a nicer job with that little intersection. But, you know, I, uh, you can kind of see it. It's a little, there's some iffiness on the surface there. But although it's not too bad. Um, if you look at smooth preview, it's all right. Um, yeah, and the shape is looking good. You know, pretty complex thing to build, so nice work there. Um, yeah, we probably want to get this to extend inside of there because that's kind of supporting the back, so I don't think you'd see the top of that. So again, I'll just isolate that and uh, let's look at it from the side view and uh, select those um, vertices on top and then B for soft select and then I'll unisolate it and pull this stuff inside some. And that way it's tucked in there and you can kind of imagine it keeps going and sort of supports the back of the chair. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, overall really good work on this. Okay, this is Griffin and uh, yeah, looking really good. Um, I like that you got uh, sort of a paddle thing in here, although you might have done a little bit more to kind of integrate that and connect that up there. Um, if you, When you're seeing these kind of weird shadowy looking things, it's usually because uh, you've got um, soft edges where there's kind of a hard edge, you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, for example, if I double click on this edge, I have soft select on, so I'll just turn that off. And see how you get that funny shadow looking thing. If I just do mesh display, harden edge, it goes away. So anywhere you see that, that's usually the issue and the solution. Um, yeah, I just think this needs more bevels, and something didn't go right with this bevel. Um, or just maybe you didn't make it big enough. Uh, but mostly this looks pretty good. Um, it's looking good. Wheels looking pretty good. This stuff looks good. Yeah, another, you know, opportunity to soften edge there. Um, but yeah, overall really good. Um, nice work. Okay, this is Cody, and uh, yeah, again, pretty good looking. Um, maybe got a little thick up front here, might thin that out a little bit. Um, and then back there, but this got a little pinched here. Maybe I'd kind of fatten and round that out a little bit. Uh, like some of the other ones, I don't think we want to see the bottom of this. I think we want to see that extending in the chair. Um, so, whoops. So I might just pick uh, some vertices on the top. And then uh, B for soft select. We'll kind of gradually, you know, transition it down. I'm going to unisolate that and pull that up in there. And then B to toggle soft select off again. Um, but yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, you got the bevels on there and stuff. Maybe it would be better if you had selected this edge as well when you beveled it. Um, and maybe kind of beveled this a little bit more like you did the bottom to make it even. Um, but it's not bad. Um, this bottom Thing. Oh, you do have a little bit of there, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this is another mesh display soft and edge. Uh, so, yeah, generally looking pretty good. Got some pretty good naming and organizing there, so, yeah, good work.